सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास थ्री एन टाइटल्ड मैथ मैजिक थ्री चैप्टर फाइव शेप्स एंड डिजाइन्स पार्ट वन पेज सिक्सटी मेक अ क्लैपर क्लैपर डिस्कस्ड on this page is a sound maker toy made from paper the steps to make the clapper are given below in pictures only picture 1 take a rectangular paper fold it from middle press the crease and open there will be a line in the center this horizontal line is shown as dotted line in the middle of paper picture 2 now fold the top side of the paper downwards to meet the middle line of step 1 keep the paper folded picture 3 instructs to make another fold from downwards starting from dotted line now You have two folds and remaining single paper towards bottom. Picture four. Instructions are in two parts. Part one instructs to fold the paper vertically from the middle in such a manner that flap folds are on outer side. Part two shows the result of such fold. Now we have a paper with folded flaps at the top and. bottom paper simply folded part 5 instructions are in two parts part 1 indicates that keep the right hand thumb and index finger at the bottom of the folded flaps from the corner that has creased line the left hand thumb and the index finger should be at the bottom corner of the paper part 2 indicates that keeping the left hand stationary the right hand should be moved away so that the flap folds moves with hand leaving the inner fold behind care to be taken that the inner fold doesn't move beyond the folded flaps which are now in slanting lines part 6 instructions are in two parts part 1 instructs to move the right hand thumb and index finger to slide down to reach the bottom left hand is not shown in the picture this means that now paper needs to be held only in right hand part 2 indicates a strong jerk from top to bottom should be given this will produce patak sound page 61 have fun with shapes color the clown following the directions given below the directions are in words and pictures of shapes from which the clown is made direction 1 triangles the adjacent picture shows red edged triangle with red written inside it this means all triangles to be colored red Direction 2 squares the adjacent picture shows yellow edged square with yellow written inside it this means all squares to be colored yellow direction 3 rectangles the adjacent picture shows blue edged rectangle with blue written inside it this means all rectangles to be colored blue direction 4 circles the adjacent picture shows circle with green boundary the word green written inside it this means all circles to be colored green picture below shows a big clown made of circles squares rectangles and triangles of different sizes the clown's face and tummy are two circles of different sizes fingers are tiny circles around square hands eyes are made of two small squares nose is a triangle pointed upwards and mouth 
a slightly bigger upside down triangle arms are made of two rectangles at either side his legs are shown by big triangles pointing towards the tummy soles of shoes are rectangles and upper part of shoe is made of triangle with small circle at toes clown's cap is made of thin rectangle base with a triangle placed over it and a small circle is at the top point of the cap page 62 this page has two questions question 1 How many triangles are there in the following figures? Picture 1 shows a square which is looking like a diamond because its corners are at top, bottom, left and right. Inside this outer square, another square is drawn. The corners of the inner square are connected to the middle of the side of the outer square. Line 1 is joining the top left corner of inner square with its bottom right corner line 2 is joining the top right corner of the inner square with its bottom left corner line 1 and line 2 are crossing each other at the middle picture 2 shows a hexagon a hexagon is a closed figure made of six lines let's name the corners in following manner top left corner a top right corner b middle corner at right c bottom right corner d left bottom corner e middle left corner f line 1 is sleeping line at top from a to b line 2 is downwards slanting line from b to c going away from b line 3 is downward slanting line from c to d going inwards line 4 is bottom sleeping line from d to e line 5 is upward slanting line from e to f going outwards line 6 is slanting line from f to a going inwards inside hexagon line 1 is joining corner a to d line 2 is from d to f line 3 is from f to c line 1 and line 3 are meeting each other at point g at the center of the hexagon line 4 is from f to b line 5 is from b to g picture 3 shows a triangle let's name top corner of triangle a bottom right corner b and bottom left corner c the side ab has two points d and e dividing ab into three equal parts ad de and eb the side bc has two points f and g dividing bc into three equal parts bf fg and gc the side ca has two points h and i dividing ca into three equal parts ch hi and ia inside the triangle line 1 is from i to d line 2 is from h to e line 3 is from e to f line 4 is from d to g and is cutting line 2 at j line 5 is from h to g line 6 is from i to f and is passing through j question 2 find the biggest rectangle in the figures given below here are the pictures of four composite figures in different shapes which are made up of small squares first figure is given as an example in which there are three lines of 12 complete squares to make it biggest rectangle of this figure you have to count the squares in other figures and find out the biggest rectangle in each square chapter 5 shapes and designs 
part 1 ends here c i e t n c e r t presents audiobook of mathematics for class 3 entitled math magic 3 chapter 5 shapes and designs part 2 page 63 edges and corners Meeta and her five friends were playing a game. Tinku was blindfolded and asked to keep clapping as long as he wished while the others would move round a table. The moment Tinku stopped clapping everybody would stop where they were. The child who was not at a corner would be out. Then she or he would be blindfolded. Picture below shows six children three boys Raja Tinku and Bunty and three girls Chotu Guddu and Meeta standing around a big table Tinku is blindfolded and is standing at right side at a distance from the table Bunty is standing at right top corner Meeta is standing at bottom right corner Raja is standing at left bottom corner and Chotu is standing at top left corner. Guddu is standing in between Chotu and Bunty. Now answer the following questions. Question A. Look at the picture given above. Can you tell who is out? Question B. Where is Guddu standing? Question C. Can the game be played around a round table? Why? Many things around us have straight edges. For example, book, chair and kite. The picture below shows book in standing position with edge written on the top and right side of the book. Next to the book, there is a chair with edge written at right front leg. and right side of the chair's back beside the chair there is a kite with edge written on its top and bottom right sides page 64 other things have curved edges for example picture below shows a cartwheel and a plane with raised sides word edge is written on the right side of the cart wheel and plate question a look around you and identify things with straight and curved edges question b do the things with straight edges have corners question c do the things with curved edges have corners question d try to find things which have both straight and curved edges activity time step 1 take a rectangular sheet of paper step 2 count its corners step 3 now fold one of its corners picture at right side shows a rectangular paper with top left corner folded question a how many corners does it have now Question B How many corners will you get by folding Part 1 2 corners Part 2 3 corners Part 3 4 corners Question C Can you fold this paper in such a way that it has only 3 corners You are allowed only 2 folds What shape will you get Step 4 Repeat the activity with a square sheet of paper Page 65 Instruction 5 Can you fold all the corners of the square sheet in such a way that the number of corners remain unchanged Question A Look at the following table and tick the names of things that have corners Also count the numbers of edges and corners in each of them below this 
there is a table with four columns and five rows. Each column has a heading and in the first column, name of thing is written in each row. First column is name of thing. Of the second column is whether it has corners. Of the third column is number of edges. Of the fourth column is number of corners. Row 1, column 1, the word die is written and a small picture of die is shown. Column 2, yes. Column 3, dash. Column 4, number 8 is written. Row 2, column 1, the word ball is written. Column 2, dash. Column 3, dash. Column 4, dash. Row 3, column 1, the word eraser is written. Column 2, dash. Column 3, dash. Column 4, dash. Row 4, column 1, the word egg is written. Column 2, dash. Column 3, dash. Column 4, dash. Row 5, column 1, the word sheet of paper is written. Column 2, dash. Column 3, dash. Column 4, dash. Question B. In the following figures, tick those which have corners. Do these figures have curved lines? Picture below shows seven figures. Figure 1. Half circle shown in sleeping line with curved surface at the top. Figure 2. Half circle shown in standing line position. There is another inner half circle within the outer circle. Figure 3. Rhombus. Figure 4. Triangle with curved sides. Figure 5. Oval. Figure 6. Looks like three stairs. Figure 7. Ring. Question C. Using only straight lines, can you draw a figure which has no corners? Page 66. Tangram. The tangram is an old Chinese puzzle. From the pieces of the tangram, we can make many shapes of animals, people and things. At the back of the book, you will find a square like the one in this figure. Cut it out carefully and cut the pieces. The set of five pieces is called five-piece tangram. The picture at the right side shows a square cut into five pieces. Piece 1 is a triangle having left side of the square. Piece 2 is a triangle with half top side of the square. Piece 3 is a square with half top side and top half right side of the outer bigger square. Piece 4 is a parallelogram with its top small side equal to the side of square of piece 3 and bottom small side has bottom half of square. Piece 5 is a triangle. One side of triangle is equal to long side of parallelogram and second side has bottom half right side of square and third side has bottom half side of square. Question. Use these five pieces to make the following figure. Figure 1. Three triangles of different sizes placed side by side in sleeping line in increasing order of size. Figure 2 has two triangles and one square. The right side of the base of top triangle is connected with the top side of square. The bottom side of the square is connected to the left side of the base of bottom triangle. The bottom triangle is pointed downwards. Figure 3 is parallelogram. Figure 4 has two triangles, one square and one parallelogram. One triangle is at top. A square is connected 
to right side of the base of this triangle. Triangle 2 is starting from the base of the square. The parallelogram is at the right side of triangle 2. Figure 5 is made of three triangles, one square and one parallelogram. One triangle is attached to square from its left side and rectangle is attached to square's bottom. The remaining two triangles at the base of the parallelogram. Page 67 Question 1. How many triangles do you have in your set? Are all of them equal in size? Find out. Question 2. Use the two small triangles in the tangram set to get the following shapes. Shape 1. Square Shape 2. Triangle Shape 3. Parallelogram Question 3. Which two pieces of the tangram set are exactly same? Find out. Question 4. Take pieces 4 and 5 from the set and find out on which side of the triangle you can join the other piece. Question 5. Find matching sides among the following pairs of pieces. Part A. Pieces 1 and 2. Part B. Pieces 2 and 4. Part C. Pieces 1 and 5. Part D. Pieces 2 and 5. Note. See figure on page 66. The 7-piece tangram. Here is the picture of a 7-piece tangram. The picture at right side shows a square divided into 7 pieces. Piece 1 is a triangle having top left corner of square. Piece 2 is a parallelogram having half left side of square. Piece 3 is a triangle with base equal to long side of parallelogram of piece 2. Piece 4 is a rhombus with side equal to one side of triangle in piece 3. Piece 5 is a triangle with one side equal to side of rhombus in piece 4. Piece 6 is a triangle with bottom side of square. Piece 7 is a triangle with right side of square. You can cut out these pieces and put them together in different ways to make some very interesting shapes. Page 68 Picture 1 and 2 show a shape of duck and cat by 7 pieces tangram. Question 1 Try making these shapes. Picture 1 Duck Picture 2. Cat in sitting position. Question 2. Now try making the following shapes using only the pieces written here. Part 1. Use only triangles. Picture below shows a hexagon. Part 2. Use pieces 1, 2, 3 and 5. Picture below shows a rectangle. Part 3. Use only two triangles. Picture below shows a square. Part 4. Use pieces 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Picture below shows a square. Chapter 5. Shapes and Designs Part 2 Ends here. Narrator Akash Ahuja Sound recordists Batilang Lingdo and Vikas Sangwan. Assistance in production by CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 3 entitled Math Magic 3. Chapter 5 Shapes and Designs Part 3. Page 69 Weaving Patterns Golu and Binu 
went to the market with their aunt. They saw many rugs or dharis. Picture below shows four rugs with beautiful borders in sleeping line. Looking at the rugs, Golu said, Wow! So many colors! And Binu said, So many shapes, circles, triangles, see the patterns. Let's read the borders one by one. While listening, please remember the borders are read from left to right and they are made horizontally. Rug 1 border The base of this border is pink. Line 1 Yellow semicircles with curved side up placed side by side. Line 2 Sleeping line from base of semicircle. Line 3 Sleeping line at very small distance from line 2. Brown color between line 2 and 3. Line 4 Yellow rhombus Its right corner connected to brown ring. Right side of the ring connected to other rhombus and pattern continues. Line 5 Sleeping line Empty space between line 3 and line 5 is filled with green color. Line 6 Sleeping line at a small distance from line 5. Brown color in between line 5 and 6. Line 7 Yellow semicircles with curved side down placed side by side and base joined with sleeping line 6. Rug 2 border the color of this rug is very light brown and the border is dark brown. This border is made of three lines. Before reading the border line wise, let's understand the designs used to make this border. Design 1 Downward slanting line from bottom point of this line, upward slanting line from top point of this line Downward slanting line towards right and repeat. Design 2 Made of 5 white squares. Square 1 at center. Square 2 joining square 1 at top left corner. Square 3 joining square 1 at bottom left corner. Square 4 joining square 1 at right top corner. Square 5 joining square 1 at bottom right corner. Design 3 Yellow hexagon of the size of square 1. Let's read the rug 2 border line wise. Line 1 Design 1 repeated continuously. Line 2 Design 2 1 finger space Design 3 and repeat from design 2. Line 3 Repeat line 1. Rug 3 border Made of 5 lines using following new designs repeatedly. Design 1 Made of 2 hexagons, 1 small and 1 bigger. Smaller 1 is inside the bigger 1. Design 2 Made of 3 circles of different sizes. Circle 1 is smallest. Circle 2 is middle size and is outside circle 1. Circle 3 is biggest and is outside circle 2. Line 1 Sleeping line Line 2 Design 1 Half finger space Repeat from design 1. Line 3 Sleeping line Line 4 Design 2 Finger space Ring, repeat from design 2. Line 5, sleeping line. Line 6, repeat line 2. Line 7, sleeping line. Rug 4 border In the fourth border of rug, there is a border with a straight line. There are two paisley or kidney-shaped design facing towards each other. 
there is a small circle in both paisleys and one small circle in between the two paisleys. After this design, there are four star-like shapes and there is a small circle in the center. Question 1. Which geometrical shapes can you identify in these borders? Draw them in your notebook. Question 2. Is any shape repeating in a particular pattern? Which ones? Question 3. Are the shapes made of? Part 1. Curved lines Part 2. Straight lines Part 3. Both curved and straight lines Question 4. Look at your clothes. Your mother's saris, shawls, rugs and mats. Can you identify some patterns? Draw them in your notebook. Page 70 Floor Patterns Have you ever seen a floor which has designs? The picture below shows design of a floor made from same tile placed in different orientation. This tile has four sides like a rectangle. The longer sides are curved inwards. The shorter sides are curved outwards in a manner that their curves fit into the inward curves of longer sides. Let's read floor design line-wise. Line 1 Horizontal tile, vertical tile, repeat. Line 2 Vertical tile, horizontal tile, repeat. Line 3 Repeat line 1 Line 4 Repeat line 2 Do you know how these designs are made? These designs are made by covering the floor completely with small tiles that fit into each other without any caps. For example, look at the shape of this tile and see how it fits. Picture below shows tile used in above floor pattern in vertical and horizontal position. Floor Design 2 Now look at this tile with six sides. Picture at right side shows hexagon shape tile with spiral designs inside. See how tiles of this shape can cover the floor completely without any caps. Picture below shows a floor pattern made from hexagon shaped tiles placed side by side with pointed corners upwards and downwards. Page 71 Question 1 Among the following, can you match the tiles with the designs that they will make on the floor? Draw lines to match. Picture below shows four tiles and four floor designs. Floor design 1 is made of hexagonal tile. Floor design 2 is made of square tile with beautiful yellow flower made of four triangle shaped petals. Floor design 3 is made of triangle shaped tiles. Floor design 4 is made of square shaped tile with three yellow triangles inside. Tile 1 has triangle shape with one yellow and three white triangles inside. Tile 2 has square shaped tile with three yellow and three white triangles inside. Tile 3 has hexagon shape. Tile 4 has square shape with 4 yellow and 4 white triangles inside. You can also make your own tiles and use them to make your own tiling patterns. You will find some such tiles at the end of the book that you can cut out, trace and color. Complete the following tiling pattern. Picture below shows two rows of pattern made by a rectangle shaped tile. A line is drawn from top left corner of the tile to the bottom right corner. This line 
divided the rectangle into two triangles. Triangle 1 is dark in color at left side and is pointing upwards. Triangle 2 is light in color at right side and is pointing downwards. The tile is placed in two positions to make the given pattern. Position 1 Dark triangle at right side. Position 2 Light triangle is at right side. Let's read the pattern row wise. Row 1 Position 1 Position 2 Position 1 Position 2 Position 1 Dash 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 Row 2 Position 2 Position 1 Position 2 Position 1 Position 2 Dash 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 Page 72 Question 3 Complete this pattern. Compare it with pattern on page 70 which also uses six-sided shapes. What is the difference between the two? Picture below shows a pattern made of pink triangles and yellow hexagons using following two designs. The size of six sides of hexagon and three sides of triangle is same. Design 1 is made of two triangles placed one after another vertically. Triangle 1 is at top and is pointing downwards. Triangle 2 is at bottom and is pointing upwards. Tips of both triangles touching each other at center. Design 2 Yellow Hexagon Pattern Line 1 Design 1 Hexagon Dash 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 Pattern Line 2 Half of Design 1 showing only top triangle Design 2 Half of Design 1 showing only top triangle Dash Dash, dash, dash. Question 4. Khushbu and Hariz live in Agra. One day they went to see the Taj Mahal. The floor had the pattern shown below. Picture below shows pattern made from hexagon tile, placed side by side, touching each other in following two positions. Position 1. Hexagon with slanting sides at left and right side. Position 2. Hexagon with slanting sides at top and bottom. Let's read the pattern row-wise. Row 1. Position 1. Position 2. Position 1. Position 2. Row 2. Position 2. Position 1. Position 2. Position 1. Row 3 Position 1 Position 2 Position 1 Position 2 Row 4 Position 2 Position 1 Position 2 Position 1 Looking at the floor pattern Standing at left side, Khushbu is saying, I can see two different tiles in this pattern. And standing at right side, Hariz is saying, I think only one type of tile has been used. What do you think? Discuss with your friends. Chapter 5 Shapes and Designs Part 3 Ends here. CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 3 Entitled Math Magic 3 Chapter 5 Shapes and Designs Part 4 Page Number 73
styling time. The patterns below are made from this tile. The picture at right side shows a tile of rhombus shape. Below this, two patterns made from this rhombus tile of different colors are given. Pattern 1 is at left hand side. In this pattern, three colors have been used to make it look like steps. Picture below shows two tiles connected side by side like an open book in standing position with open side at the back and one tile on top of them. This pattern is repeated and it is looking like steps. The left side is light brown. The right side is dark brown and top is green in color. Pattern 2 is at right hand side. By using two colors it becomes a different pattern of blue and yellow flowers. Picture 2 shows three rhombus tiles connected just like in pattern 1. One yellow tile and two blue tiles are used to make following three designs which are then repeated to make the pattern 2. Design 1 Tiles at the left and right side are blue and the top tile is yellow. Design 2 Tile at the left side is yellow and blue tiles are at right side and at the top. Design 3 Tile at the right side is yellow and blue tiles are at left side and at the top. Pattern 2 Row 1 Design 1 Design 2 Design 3 and repeat from Design 1. Row 2 Design 2 Design 3 Design 1 and repeat from Design 2. Row 3 Repeat Row 1 Row 4 Repeat Row 2. This pattern is generating two different patterns of yellow and blue flowers. Yellow flower with three petals and blue flowers with six petals. Question 1. Use different color combinations to make your own patterns. The picture below shows two patterns, one at left hand side and other at right hand side using three white rhombus tiles connected in same way as in above patterns 1 and 2. Below these patterns, at left hand side, a black ant is saying, I've seen a mithai or sweet of this shape. Question 2. Have you seen this shape in any other design? On a wall, a dress, on a basket, a mat, etc.? Page number 74. Treasure Hunt Frank and Juhi's mummy has hidden a surprise gift for both of them. But she wants them to find out through a treasure hunt. She has written some instructions here. Can you help Juhi and Frank in finding their gift? A. Start from the tallest tree. The word tallest is underlined. B. Go forward on the pathway. The word forward is underlined. C. From the sixth tile, turn left. The word left is underlined. D. After moving a few steps, again you will find a plant on your right hand side. The word right is underlined. E. Color the dress of the child playing closest to this plant. The word Closest is underlined. F. Start moving again from the plant. The word is underlined. G. On the fourth tile, turn left again. The word left is underlined. H. On the way, you will find the corner of the fourth tile is broken. The word corner is underlined. I. You will find a bat and a ball lying on the ground. Don't pick them up, just circle them. The word circle is underlined. J. Move ahead and turn right. 
the word right is underlined. K. You will find a mango tree. A few mangoes can be seen on the tree. Color 11 mangoes on the tree. Word on in the last line is underlined. I also draw some grass near the mango tree and start moving again on the pathway. The word near is underlined. M. When you go straight, you will find a house. The word straight is underlined. N. Behind that house, there is a bag. Open it and you will find something sweet in it. Can you tell what their mother has kept in the bag? The word behind is underlined. Page 75 This page has picture related to treasure hunt from previous page. Let's read the picture. At the bottom of the page, there are four trees of different sizes. Tree 1 at left side is slightly bigger than tree 2 at its right side. Tree 3 is bigger than the tree 2 at its right side. Tree 4 is bigger than tree 3 and tree 1. At the right side of tree 4, there is a square tile. Next tile at right hand side marks the bottom right corner and is half rhombus with curved end at the right side. Next, two square tiles are making inward slanting line. The third tile is a broken square with top side slanting inwards. This marks the beginning of a rectangular space made of square tiles of different colors. The right and left sides are made of seven tiles each. The top and bottom sides are made of five tiles. The three square tiles after the right side of this rectangle space are slanting outwards. The third tile makes the top right corner. At the left side of tree 1, there is a square tile. The next tile at left side marks the bottom left corner. This tile is broken rhombus with curved side at left. Next, eight tiles are going upwards and making half of the left side. The eight tile has two connecting tiles, one at right and other at top. The tile at right side is connecting to four other square tiles. The fourth tile is connecting to the middle of the left side of the rectangular shape created by tiles at the right side. At the top of the eighth tile, there are 11 tiles making outward curved shape, covering the top left corner and making half of the top side. There is a house at the right side of the eleventh tile. At the right side of the house, a bag is kept and there is a tree at the back of the house. There is a mango tree with fruits in white color inside the curved space created by 11 tiles at the top left side. Footnote Understanding of space will be facilitated if the treasure hunt worksheet is done in the class. The task will enhance skills of children in identifying positions up, down, front, behind, distance, near or far, size, tall or small, corners and shapes. It will help if more such treasure hunts are given to children as an activity. The Chapter 5 Shapes and Designs Part 4 Ends here.